than it deserves. So much more respect charging tourists for their entry. There will be no more fast food chains in the city center, there will be no more ATMs. Some things are actually illegal in Venice. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as promised, I decided to give you a little update on all the news regarding traveling to Venice this year, so you can be a mindful, respectful traveler while also enjoying the city. I've been talking a lot about Venice recently and, well, this is one of my favorite cities in Italy, so that makes sense. And honestly, I feel like Venice deserves so much more respect that some travelers show it. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and hit the bell button because I make lots of travel vlogs, budget travel videos and regular updates on the situation in Italy, on all the entry rules and requirements and general life here. Having said that, guys, let's get into the video. Venice is known as one of the most touristic cities in Italy, and that's absolutely true. The tourism is expected to increase by 35% in Venice alone. Can you just imagine how many people are visiting the city every year? And rightfully so, there were talks about charging tourists for their entry to the city. However, this initiative was postponed for the next year. This year, however, the city council has decided to start uh, trying a new program of booking your visit. So before you go to Venice, do a little bit of research because this thing is not a thing yet. However, once it becomes official, I will update you here as well. However, it is said that this year you'll have to book your visit on a special website before coming and from the next year you'll probably have to pay for your visit. There have been a lot of talks about authenticity of Venice and the problem with tourists and this mass tourism in the city that was damaging the city's image, making the lives of locals basically unbearable. However, from this year the city council finally seems to be starting something new, some new initiatives to make Venice more livable. Namely, with the new initiative, it is expected that there will be no more fast food chains in the city center, there will be no more ATMs, no more, you know, just fast tourism stuff, except for the places and businesses that have already been opened. No new places will be allowed to open right in the city center and the space will be reserved to locally owned uh, shops, artisanal places and businesses that are of any cultural interest to the city. And obviously if you want to enjoy the city and be a respectful traveler, you have to follow a certain set of rules. Some of these rules are official and they were officially instated as the rules for the city, others are just the common sense rules that you have to follow as a traveler. Some things are actually illegal in Venice, like swimming in the canals. However, for me, it just seems so painfully obvious that I just can't get it how some tourists don't understand this basic thing. You are not supposed to swim in the canals and obviously you have to oblige by this rule. Another thing is that it is prohibited to bring your wheeled luggage with you to Venice because the sound of it being dragged through the cobblestone streets is really annoying to locals and it makes total sense for me. So make sure you know these things. Obviously, you're not supposed to wear a swimsuit anywhere in Venice. This is not a beach holiday. This is not a beach destination. This is a an open-air museum, a cultural destination, and never ever wear a swimsuit in the city. As someone who's coming from a seaside city myself, I know just how annoying, incredibly annoying it is when you see tourists walking and, you know, sporting their swimsuits right in the historical center. And thanks God, in Venice, that was made illegal. There is another set of rules that you have to follow. For example, it is illegal to feed the pigeons in Venice, so make sure you avoid this. It is illegal to sit on uh, the historical landmarks and eat there and it is illegal to climb these historic landmarks. I know that might sound weird, however, I've seen people attempting to climb up a church or a statue or anything and obviously they were fined by the police, rightfully so. Also, guys, please mind your children because children are obviously amazing and I think that's incredible if you take them with you to show them the beauty of Venice. However, teach them the great manners in this interactive way by showing them an example mind them for their own safety and not only so they don't break the rules because you know having the canals everywhere it could be quite dangerous for little kids to just run and be left unattended in venice another very important thing to consider which is not a rule it is not an obligation however i highly recommend you to consider it is to 
search the locally owned businesses, restaurants, shops, services, because buying local, eating in local places and making sure that your money stays in Venice would be the best thing you can do to help preserve this city. It is very important to help preserve the slow tourism and to be more mindful and conscious about helping the locals to make the city a nice place and investing in the local economy. And having said that, guys, obviously being mindful, being respectful is so important. You know, when you are a traveler, when you are a guest, be the guest. Locals will be happy to welcome you if you respect them and their city. And this city deserves all the respect in the world. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little chit chat about Venice. Tell me in the comments if any of this rule was a new one for you, if you didn't know about it. Also, tell me if you're planning to visit Venice, because I'm always happy when people are discovering this amazing city. Also, I have a bunch of videos about Venice. I have a budget travel uh, in Venice video. I will leave you a link up here so you can check it out. I will also leave you some links in the description box to my other Venice vlogs and videos. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button not to miss anything. And as always, put a thumbs up, comment and share this video with your friends so I can make more videos like this. Thank you guys for being here and enjoy your day.